Some of the high schools around the area started preseason football practice bright and early this morning, but for the fine folks of Wimberley, just the sound of football has a great ring to it. Tristan, you're wearing a shirt? Taryn Cawley plays a vital role in the success of football at Wimberley High School. As head student trainer, Taryn's job in the trenches often goes unnoticed. That all changed in May. Immediately after the catastrophic floods swept through the town, Taryn joined forces with some of the football players to help clean up a house. Turned out it was the house of Mike and Teresa Graves, and inside awaited four feet of mud. Just to see my community in crumbles, it was awful, and I knew I had to do something and to go help. The first thing that I asked her was, like, what, what was the most important thing that y'all lost? Lost in the wreckage of the house was Teresa's wedding ring. And after 20 years of marriage, finding it was number one on her priority list. We're not leaving this house without finding this ring. And we found a wheelbarrow and then a screen door, and we were putting the mud into the screen door and then washing it out. And I just started to sift through with my hand. I went back, stuck my hand in just even more mud, and I picked it up. And as I picked it up, she just screamed, and she just hugged me, and it was just... I think that was one of the best moments of my entire life. Finding that diamond in the rough was tough, but beautiful too. And that story is just one of many glimmers of hope for the people of Wimberley. The entire Texans football team took the field this morning for the first time since those floods with a simple message at the forefront. We're going to some tough situations, right? Yes, tough situations, the story of Wimberley these days. One thing about this football team is we're always going to be the toughest team on the field. That's what we preach to our kids. And then it just doesn't stop here. When they leave here, they're going to be faced with tough situations, you know, throughout their, the rest of their life. And hopefully, you know, they'll be prepared for those. To see the devastation on television is tough. To witness it firsthand is far beyond the grasp of the imagination. Man, it was it was unbelievable. You know, you just, I think you're in shock. They ran the gamut from, from just total sadness for, for people that had lost everything uh, to tears of joy for somebody that found a memento. It was very tough knowing people that lost everything. I mean, don't take anything for granted, definitely. I mean, one day would be the best day you ever had in that, that, that night. Just get it taken all away from you. One thing no one on that football team will take for granted Friday nights this fall. While the city continues its long road to recovery, football will provide a three-hour getaway from the emotional toll of the havoc. You have to let kids be kids. They've had tough, you know, tough few months of it. This, to me out here, is this therapy for those guys. It's an outlet. They get to get away and they get to forget about it for a little bit. They'll see it as something like back to normal, like Wimberley's still Wimberley, and that we can keep going, even through something like that. The perfect phrase, keep going. And just like Taryn, maybe Wimberley football can find a ring too. A state championship ring. We learned a lot this morning in Wimberley. Best of luck to the Texans.